So today's August 4th, 2021, and I wanted to give a little update on some of the work that's taken place over the last week, as well as a little snag that we ran into. We had our inspector out this week and we talked about uh, the tie-in between the existing residents and the new garage and ADU. And because we didn't find quite the uh, footing that we were looking for, and now we're gonna have to get an engineer involved. So as you can see, we've been installing foundation forms and we repurposed a bunch of the ceiling joists from the old garage, which two by six ceiling joists, so rather than buying new lumber for the foundation forms, we just repurposed those, which was not the funnest thing using old and sometimes not straight wood but uh, we got all the string lines in so we still got a few more braces to put on. We also had the inspector come back and sign off on the underground because he had one change one of the vents he didn't like so we repaired that. He's, I think he still doesn't like it but but now we're facing a new problem which has to do with this foundation here. So our old garage had some pad footings about every six feet right here. And so when we removed this slab, obviously we pulled out those footings. And this roof line right here was actually sitting on top of a bearing wall on top of that garage footing. So now that we're gonna build the new garage wall, it's gonna have a double wall here. And it's got an engineered footing for that wall, which these rafters will then ledger off of that. So that's not a problem. However, we did find this problem. Rather than a footing underneath, this section of slab which we intended to find there's nothing and it's because this section of our house is non-conforming so basically there used to be an area patio between the garage the old garage and the house and a previous owner decided to close that in and make it additional square footage of the house. So we went from a thousand eight square feet to like 1300 square feet. However, now that we're tying this thing in, the engineers or the inspectors asking how we're gonna do this. You know, and it's, it's not a real complicated thing, but now we do have to go back to an engineer, to our engineer of record and get him to draw a detail that will show either we need to dig this footing here wider to go underneath the slab or we just simply need to dowel an epoxy so that not so much that the footing is holding anything up but it's preventing this concrete here this slab from either raising or sinking. So that's what I've been working on recently is trying to line up an engineer to draw me that detail and unfortunately the engineer that stamped my plans is nowhere to be found so I'm not sure if he jumped ship or what happened to him but I've reached out to him with email and everything else and no reply and even the phone number is disconnected so there's hesitancy from other engineers to, to get involved at this point, but I think I've lined one up, so I'm just waiting to get a uh, price and a time frame from him. But hopefully, once we get uh, the design, if there's anything that we need to do, we can go ahead and get that um, altered. We can either dig or we can epoxy in those dowels. Probably be a little of both. And then we've got our steel coming on Friday and so we can start setting our foundation steel and um, our vapor barrier for the slab and then get our slab mat, the 
the number three rebar in the grid for the slab. So hopefully we'll get this uh, snag taken care of soon and we can get going again. We kind of had to stop and wait till we figure out what's going on with this engineering problem.